political activist Soraya Fass says there would be no need for a humanitarian push in Mosul, Iraq or Aleppo, Syria if there was a serious united anti-terror campaign. In Mosul itself, what makes it any different than what's going on in Syria in terms of the displacement and uh, the situation in general? I think that what needs to be addressed before we can take a look at any humanitarian effort. What's the difference in terms of freeing Mosul and not taking care of Syria the same way? What they're looking to do is that they couldn't play hero in Syria. So now they plan on doing that in Iraq. By freeing Mosul, what they're doing is that they're going to end up moving the terrorists into Syria if the United States really wants to do any peace effort or humanitarian effort. It would have to be siding with both Russia and the current Syrian government. There would not be a need for humanitarian aid if they do that. They need to stop supporting the terrorism that's going on in Syria. A Muslim American family from North Carolina are quitting life in the U.S. and moving to Pakistan after their seven-year-old son claims he was beaten on a school bus by his classmates. They hit me in my face, they hit my chest and stomach, and then they hit my fingers. And they kept saying that my name is a silly name. And they kept calling me bad names. And they said, Abdul means you're fat and a bully. It hurts me more because they are my friends. But who bullies friends? Well, the school says it is investigating the incident and that Abdul's version of events is not supported by other witnesses. We tried to get some clarification by speaking to Abdul's father. He was beaten, he was bruised, he wasn't talking much, a lot of pain in his hand. Uh, so we gave him some pain medicine. The next day when he wakes up, he narrated the ordeal for us. So he said that one of the, his fellow passengers came to him and asking him why he wanted to eat certain food and why not he only eat halal. And this is the recurring questions he gets in his cafeteria as well, again and again. And then the, guy, the other boy says, that, let's start play fighting. And he said, I don't want to fight. But as soon as he says it, he punched him on his face. And then he called two, of his, uh, two more boys and two more girls. And then five of them start beating him up. Uh, so they have slapped you know, his face, uh, kick in his, his chest and his stomach, uh, injured a couple of his fingers, twisted, twisted his arms, blocked his arms, and thrown away his backpack. So this is what happened uh, with my seven-year-old son, Abdul Aziz. This summer, another Muslim family moved to Qatar from Texas after their son, Ahmed, was briefly arrested for bringing a, well, a suspicious-looking homemade clock to school. The teacher thought it was a bomb. And though many supported the teenager through his ordeal, he says the hateful attitudes haven't gone away. I got a lot of support in the beginning, but then again, it's the hate that sticks because, because some of it is so damaging. I get death threats. What did I ever do to someone to, to get death threats? Well, the incident comes at a time when more than half of Americans now have an unfavorable opinion of Islam. That's according to recent polls. In fact, a study showed the media often provides a negative view of the religion as well. In fact, uh, one found almost 60% of the headlines about Muslims in the New York Times were negative. Though some U.S. Muslims prefer just to uh, laugh it off. Burn them all down and deport them, them all? Like, I was born here. Where am I going to get deported to? The hospital? <laughs> Bomb making class. I don't remember the last time I took that class. I always skipped it. I don't know why. I feel in my heart that they are all sleepers here in America. They all hate us and waiting for the... I say nothing to do whatever they are told. This is my opinion. I forget to explain it. What signal? What signal? The signal. I wonder what kind of signal it would be. I want to be like a human thing, like a, like a noise or like like a caca. And all the Muslims are coming. <laughs> like, yeah, let's kill them all. After the break here on RT International, we gauge reaction to the news. The bank accounts of RT UK are being closed. We're back in a moment.